Hi friends, thanks for coming back. Today, Luna and I have to do some harvesting. I have noticed that the garlic is dying down really quick this year. It is only the end of May and the garlic is already dying. So I need to harvest it today to make sure that I have a crop. I actually dug out a few of them like two days ago. Usually my garlic does not die back until the end of June. For some reason, I noticed that there is flies getting into the stem and they're getting them and they're going bad. So I need to harvest them. You can't see the other stems in here because they've already died back. So that's what I'm afraid of. But there is four rows of garlic in here and I need to get those out. And I have other ones over there that we need to get out. So hopefully Luna doesn't take the camera away and lets us record. No, no. But I hope she gets real busy when we start digging. Come on, let's go do some digging. Right here. Can you help Papa over here? I'll push it out for you. Come on, pull it out. Ah, yes. Can you show it to the camera? So like I suspected, something is getting into the stem and I think it's a fly. I'm gonna open one of these up and show it to you. So I can show you the little bug that's getting in here. And unfortunately, there's no way to save this garlic now. It's too late. Um, I think you can apply something before, but now it's too late. Here is the carrot. Here is the little fly, the little maggot. There's a little maggot right here. This tiny little thing here is the maggot that burrows into the stem and kills the plant. And that just stunts the growth. So this garlic is not gonna do anything else. So I better dig it all out now and try to salvage as much as I can from it. Grab this, pull it out, pull it out. Pull it, pull it. Pull it out. Yes, baby. This one's actually a pretty good sized one, but a lot of them are dying. So we'll see if we can harvest anything out of here. This is so sad because I've never had garlic issues. And this is the first year I found this problem. Okay, you can talk to the camera now. We're rolling. What can you say here? What do you need to say? Say hi. <laughs> can you tell them what you're doing over here? Can you tell the camera what you're working on? What are you working on? Huh? <coughs> Unfortunately, the garlic harvest was diminished by the flies this year. So hopefully next year I'll plant it in a better spot. I'm not gonna plant it here again. I'm gonna plant it in a spot that gets a lot of sun. That way it doesn't have any pest issues. And hopefully we can get that sorted out. I still have this garlic bed over here that I need to work with. Hopefully there's some in there, but there's not gonna be much of a garlic harvest this year. I'm also planning on harvesting some potatoes today. So I'm gonna add that to this video so you guys can see how much potatoes I have growing in here. I was in here the other day and there was a potato in the ground. Something had dug it out. I've never seen that before either. So I gotta check those out, make sure that they're okay and nothing is getting into them. So as you can see, I'm a normal gardener and I show you my failures and my successes. For some reason, the garlic this year has gotten pests and I didn't get a good harvest this year. I'm kinda sad about it because I always plant one year's worth of supply of garlic and now I'm gonna be missing out on some garlic. The one thing I can think about that I also did differently this year is that I planted my garlic in late November, which is usually a little later than I like to plant it. I usually plant it in the middle of October and I think that might be another difference of uh, another factor that I did differently. So we'll see if by planting it earlier again this year, I'll do better. And in the past, I've also planted the garlic in really sunny spot and it gets plenty of sun and hopefully that is what keeps the other animals at bay. But this year, you just have an issue so that's okay you know some some years you get about harvest check out the row of potatoes that i have here let me show it to you this whole row right here is potatoes and i think it's like 30 feet long and it's all potatoes and yesterday i came in here and i found a potato out of the ground so that's uh no good and i want to dig in and see what's going on some of the some of the leaves on these potatoes are turning yellow, which tells me that they're probably getting close to being done. And since they're in the orchard, surrounded by trees, they are growing really tall. So I'm gonna do a little test. 
I'm gonna do a little harvest test right now, see how they're doing. And if they're doing really well, I might harvest all of them in like two to three weeks because I wanna use this space to grow other summer crops. Here's the potato that I found the other day, just walking here. And I'm not sure what's digging them up. I've never seen any animal dig them up. Maybe this one was just growing on the surface and that's why I found it. But it was definitely detached from the plant. So I've never seen that before. So I wanna make sure I dig in here and see what's going on. I might be jumping the gun here right now, digging them out, but uh, it's okay. I'm gonna check it out. I have about 60 plants in here. It's a crazy amount of plants that I put in this year. I figured I would grow things that I really like to eat. So I'm only growing really tasty things that I like to eat. So there's, so there's one potato here and there's a ton, a ton of little ones. So I'm gonna take this one and, so I'm gonna take this one and replant this one because there's not enough right now. And I'm gonna see if there's any more in here. Oh yeah, here's another one. Okay. So we only have two potatoes there, so I'm gonna put them back into the ground and hopefully regrow it. I know this actually works, I did it last year. So if you plant your potatoes back, they'll regrow. So these potatoes are still pretty small. I'm sure they're gonna be delicious, but I'm gonna let them grow for another three to four weeks because they need a lot of time to grow. Hopefully I get a huge potato harvest this year and it makes up for my lack of garlic harvest. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I'll see you on the next one. Say hi. Hi. Hi friends. Hi. Say hi friends. Can you say? Okay, you stand up, I sit. Can you say hi friends? And it's only the... Fortunately, our harvest was diminished by the flies this year. Hey, hey, hey. You can, you can show them this. Show them this. Unfortunately, our garlic harvest was diminished by the...